Hyundai has this habit of improving something that has always been so perfect for the Indian market. Take for instance the Grand i10. It has everything that you can ask for in a small car. Now there is a new kid on the block that is going to challenge the current generation Grand i10 and the best part is that it is from Hyundai as well. The Grand i10 Neos. The new Neos comes with a bag full of changes on the exterior. Let's take this grill for instance. It's a large cascading grill that's the part of a new design philosophy. The better change over here are the swept back headlamps which now comes with projector units. The LED DRLs are integrated into the grill which is kind of a weird placement but all right. The interior of the Neos is completely different from what we've seen in the current generation Grand i10 and is a huge step up. Someone who is very familiar with the all new Hyundai models will find this place to be quite like the new venue with the all new three spoke steering wheel and central aircon vents which look very nice and are also seen on the Kona EV. The infotainment system is pretty much the same as the venue. All the fancy bits like the steering mounted audio controls, touchscreen infotainment will only be offered in the range topping variant. Also, the side profile comes with a new added benefit. The shoulder line is now stronger than ever with the cute G item symbol over this. So the new Neos comes with a new back end now. It looks pretty exciting to be honest, but there is one catch. These tail lamps look a lot like Tiago's. Apart from that, there is a new branding over here which says Neos. Now moving on to the boot space, there is a cute little button over here and it is sitting pretty well. The driving aspect of the Neos is probably the most common thing with the Grand i10. Both these cars share the same engine. Nevertheless, there is an upgrade in ride quality. It somehow feels much smoother now and the suspension is also good enough for all those speed breakers. There is a bit of turbo lag after gear shifts, but you cannot expect Lamborghini level performance on a 7 lakh car. But the performance on offer is good enough for city driving and those occasional highway drives. Safety features like ABS, EBD, dual airbags, rear parking sensors are now standard across the range. The range stopping variant might also come with up to 6 airbags. Well, the Neos is 15 to 20,000 more expensive than the current generation Grand i10. We've told you all there is to know about the new car. Now it's time for our verdict. Well, for someone who drives the current generation Grand i10, I am thoroughly blown away by the experience of driving the Neos. I guess I should have waited for some more while. Anyhow, the Neos doesn't feel like it has been derived from the current generation Grand i10, although it feels a lot like a mixture of Santro and Elantra, which is a good thing, although you know you're buying something premium.